Greetings, Tina here. Last week I released a video detailing how I made an average of 6,000 rands a month during my studies at UCT. And well, people seem to like that video. Uh, if, you, if you need a refresher, just check out the video right here. This side, actually. Of course, I only addressed four different sources of income. There's a whole lot more out there. Unfortunately, I'm not an entrepreneur. I, I'm not very creative when it comes to making money. So I asked my Instagram followers just, what do they do or what they did on the side to make some money while they're studying? And well, I got a lot of responses. Safe to say I was rather overwhelmed. Okay, let's go through the responses and see just how students cope with financial instability during the dark ages. Selling Banje and Brongo. Wow. We're off to a great start here. We have FM Assist. For those who may not be familiar with uh, Shona medical terms, Banje is what we use to refer to Marie Joana and Bronco, of course, that's, you know, that, that's short for Bronclear, the cough syrup that comes with codeine. I, I personally wouldn't recommend that, you know, especially if you're a foreigner, don't even think about it. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to a, something not so illegal. Worked for, for UCT and NGOs as an intern. Did promo work on the side too. NGOs tend to pay really well regardless of where you are. <laughs> oh man, I love that word. NGOs tend to pay really well regardless of where, where you're located. Uh, it can be in a poor country like Zim or in a very rich country like, you know, Germany or something. As for universities, they offer a very wide variety of jobs. Like this actually made me realize just how much is out there. For example, you've got Sub warden, receptionist, orientation leader, and disability unit. Lab assistant, easiest money I ever made, telling people to shut up and not eat in the labs. Basically, that's a prefect for the labs, and you get paid for that, yeah. Front desk assistant, more commonly known as a receptionist. And dining hall monitor. Economics department research project, the only research email I'm glad I responded to. <laughs> of course you did, sir. If your university is big on research, like UCT, for example, uh, there will be a lot of opportunities for getting involved in research. Uh, they will either ask you to participate in, a, in their research as a guinea pig, or you can be part of the people doing the research, which I assume this this is what this guy was talking was was referring to. Or maybe he was testing to bug. I don't know. You've got uh, receptionist, student assistant, SOAS officer, orientation leader, survey agent. Yeah, this guy basically worked for UCT his whole life because all of these are different types of roles offered by the University of Cape Town. And of course, you can't leave out what is probably the most popular job offered by universities, tutoring. In fact, out of the responses I got, 27 did some form of tutoring, either university or private tutoring. Okay, here's an interesting one. Wrote graduation thesis for many, sold for 400 euro each. That's a lot of money. How much is that in rent? Some of them are shit doctors now. <laughs> wow, I have lost all faith in doctors now. Yo. Anyways, uh, well, he's not the only person who did homework as a side hustle. Some did it in the form of, of essay writing, writing grant applications for other people, writing blog articles from other people's blogs, proofreading thesis and whatever. I guess that's not really homework, but you know, yeah, still. Uh, and schoolwork, that's, that's rather interesting. You know, I could have really made a lot of money from this, eh? Yeah, I really fumbled that one. Braiding hair, photography, receptionist, and res, plus odd jobs in there in the streets. In other words, hustling. Cooked for university students, catering for birthday parties and any event, online English tutoring, which can be done by anyone and anywhere, and can give a cool $500 a month. I worked part-time as a working student and waitressing. It was brutal, and I tutored English. You know, it turns out you can actually make a lot of money from tutoring English, especially in countries that don't have English as a first language. So that's Germany and China in these two examples. So yeah, and you can make a lot of money from that. And the nice thing about tutoring English is that uh, in a lot of cases, you can do it remotely, like over the internet. Yeah, something you should look into if, if obviously your English needs to be somewhere, you know. Yeah, You can't be using words like irregardless. <laughs> tutoring and getting distinctions. Remember, you can get paid for distinction. Of course, for those academically gifted people, you can make money for being at the top of the class or somewhere at the top of the class. Like, it depends. Check your faculty handbooks and stuff. Like, they, they, they should 
if your university offers these kind of awards, you should definitely see them in there. Web dev, makeup gigs, Avon prep, dropshipping, guest blogging for this UK blog. That's a very creative portfolio right there. Mm. Forex trading, selling corn dogs and Chapatis. Chapati. That sounds tasty, eh? Buying and selling, yeah, you can you can get very creative in this one. Like it can be like buying off a cheap website and selling somewhere else, you know, that kind of thing. You can get really creative with this one, even like with a local online store. Modeling, modeling job, selling thrifts. If you're creative in any way, you can make monies from your from your creations, from your art, and then sell them off at exorbitant prices. Just go to to Long Street on first Thursdays in Cape Town and you know what I'm talking about. Part-time sales job, yo, part-time, ha. Got a full-time job, would not recommend it though, I died. I don't know how you did that, bro. That, that, that was amazing. I worked a full-time job at the same time. At one point, I had two, two jobs at the same time while studying. That takes a lot of commitment. Ooh, that's amazing. Uh, I coached basketball and did theater Broadway dancing, theater and Broadway dancing and my little cosmetic business. I'm quite surprised cosmetics appeared like what once or twice on this list because it has the potential to make a lot of money like from what I've seen yeah that stuff can make a lot of money yeah maybe the people who are making the money didn't want to share their secrets I don't know okay I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a comment say hi to your boy if you enjoyed this video make sure to check this one out here because YouTube YouTube really thinks you're gonna like that one hey and if you've already watched that one maybe check out this one here yeah yeah and if you've watched that one make sure you subscribe to my channel there's gonna be another video next week okay you you have a good day i should stop dancing okay have a good day see you next week <laughs> <laughs>